Hi, my name is Jillian Diamond. I'm from Ralston High School, and I'm a junior. And my poem is called Poor Little Boy. Thanks, guys. Love you, too. <laughs> Monitors beeping, light shining in his eyes. He wakes up to find himself in something that feels different, foreign, odd. He looks down. He realizes he is no longer in his band t-shirt or his jeans. He is now wearing blue fabric that resembles a gown. As he looks around, nothing seems familiar to him. Finally, reality kicks in. He knows he's trapped inside. Memories flash through his mind. Screams, arguments, and even whimpers linger inside. Scars that are deep and still bleeding remain on his face. Slowly but surely, the pain reappears. It starts to come back. He can finally feel the reasons of his imprisonment. Does he even remember that night? Does he even remember why he did it? I remember what story was told to me as an explanation why. It was simply a mirror. This piece of reflecting glass showed the little boy something awful, himself. As he would look forward, a smiling demon would wave straight back at him. He didn't like what he could see, but what does one do when they don't like the image they're staring at? They change it, edit it. This poor boy is left to explore his mind. Does he even want to know what's jailed inside? What if he doesn't want to know what he hid away what will he find if he dives in further into the nightmare? This isn't his first rodeo down that rabbit hole, but how much longer will he have to endure it? What a sad day it is. A small boy, powerless, and left on his own. He drove himself away from all things surrounding him. He felt that leaving altogether was the best idea from his list of options. No, sweet boy. It never is. I know I may not understand, but I want to. Lots of people want to. But then there's the fear. The fear of opening your fragile mind and heart up to people you might not even trust or know. Poor little boy, I know you're ill. We can all notice your sorry little soul, but that doesn't mean you have to suffer, little boy. I know I may not know you that well from, from what I have gathered. You're quiet and outgoing. You're insane and normal. Basically, you are everything and its opposite in one humanoid, and that's okay. We all love you for it. We will always love you for it. So please, please don't leave this earth. What are we to do without an interesting little boy like you dangling around? This place is absolutely mind-numbing without you flaunting around inside it. The class we raised our family in is now empty like a cemetery. Every day we would all wait. Wait for you to open those heavy gray doors and waltz right in. Wait for you to twist and bend and even pop yourself out of place. Or even wait for you to crack a joke or a demon check and cluck that would send us all laughing. We all continue to wait. So please don't leave. I'm begging you. How else am I going to learn the difference from G-sharp to G-flat? Who else is going to dislocate themselves to make me happy? Who else is going to awkwardly hold me through all of my pain and threaten it away? Why would I miss you? Because, my little trumpet cat, the class and the experience is completely different now from it, and it's not on a positive note either. Please, little boy, don't depart. Your trumpet family misses you. Please come home, little boy. Please.